Good morning. I'm Steve Elman, the County Executive. I want to welcome you to your courthouse, first of all. Secondly, uh, I want to thank all of you out there to my side here and everyone that's been involved in, in this effort. You know, St. Charles County, uh, we were ranked number one again as the healthiest county in the state. And uh, when people tell me that, I give a lot of credit to the people themselves for making uh, good lifestyle decisions. But you know, even with us doing that, we still have problems in this county. We still have alcoholism and we still have, uh, we still have drug problems and we still have child abuse. But it's not as bad as some other places because of the efforts of people like yourselves. But just because it's not as bad as some other places doesn't mean we, could, we should sit back and uh, congratulate ourselves. We should thank all of you for what you do and then rededicate ourselves to uh, doing an even better job. Now we've got some people up here that have been doing the job. And uh, my part in this is very, very limited. <laughs> what I do is take your tax dollars and myself and the county council, we appropriate it and give it to some of these people to do the work that they do. So I've got a whole list of uh, accomplishments that they have had, but I'm gonna go ahead and le leave it up to them to tell you about them. And uh, once again, thanks to each of you out there for what you do for this cause. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Elman. Uh, Captain David T. from Brown with St. Charles County Police Department. Child maltreatment is a public safety issue that plagues communities across the country. Every day, law enforcement agencies open new investigations into unimaginable cases of, of physical and sexual child abuse, as well as neglect cases in which child are deprived of access to basic necessities such as food, shelter, clothing, and education. Often these victims are from environments fractured by domestic violence, substance abuse, poverty, and caregiver stress. Those issues alone, or when combined, can compromise a child's development, confidence, and security. Although we address the issue of child maltreatment with education and critical prevention resources, the alarming truth is there are many child, children who remain at risk. All St. Charles County law enforcement agencies are dedicated to the fight against child abuse and neglect. We work in partnerships with social service agencies, schools, hospitals and community to identify and respond to suspected and known cases. As law enforcement officers, when we respond to these cases, it breaks our hearts. We put our feelings aside to be there for the children who have been hurt by those who they should have been able to trust. Each case is thoroughly investigated to ensure justice is served through criminal prosecution and to make sure victims are connected with the much needed help. We are here at this dedication for one reason, and that is to raise awareness for child abuse and neglect. Think of each pinwheel in this garden as the face, the face of an innocent child. I've been in rooms with some of these faces. I've seen their tears and I've seen their bruises. Every time a child is mistreated, abused or neglected, there is an adult who has not done their part. As law enforcement officers, we are sworn to serve and protect even the least of those, our children. The pinwheel garden before you represents 348 substantiated cases of child abuse and or neglect in St. Charles County in 2018. That's an increase of 58 cases from last year and close to one report of child abuse and neglect for each day. We have a shared responsibility to ensure our children are safe and removed from a toxic environment. The first step to prevention is speaking up on behalf of the vulnerable and the voiceless. Children should never, never struggle for their safety. Anyone who knows of a child being abused or neglected is asked to make a report to the Missouri Child Abuse and Neglect Hotline or your local police department. A child's life hangs in the balance. Thank you for joining us today and every day to fight, to end the fight and abuse of child and neglect. Thank you. Morning. My name is Sean Roser. I'm a detective with the Winsville Police Department. I was asked to uh, give a speech about what our what our team does. Um, and when I say team, I mean our multi multidisciplinary team, our MDT. 
it's uh, let's start from the beginning here. Six years ago, I was assigned to the Detective Bureau. And shortly thereafter, I started investigating uh, cases involving children. I don't know if any of you have ever done that. Um, when you first start it, it's, well, it's terrifying. You have no idea because you have one shot to investigate this properly. I've been blessed with a multiple, multidisciplinary team with the Child Center, excuse me, with Child Center, Department of Family Services, prosecutors, and other law enforcement officers that I could reach out to and speak with, say, hey, this is the case we've got. We meet together, we discuss these cases, and you know, as hard as it is, you're not alone because you have people that you can rely on. These are amazing people that do this job day in, day out. These are real superheroes. They get through and help these children in their worst, worst circumstances, most vulnerable population, these children. We take them out of these situations and we try to make it better for them. We don't always succeed, but we fight our hardest every time. I could not do the job I do without the assistance of my team. It's unbelievable, the camaraderie that's there. We, we, it's, it's a family, sometimes a dysfunctional family, but I'll be at a family nonetheless, and we do our very best every day to protect these children. St. Charles County is incredibly lucky to have the people that we do from the child center who takes who not only takes these kids and takes them out of these bad it helps take them you know from a bad situation sit down make them feel safe and get them to talk about these absolute horrible things that have happened to them that's just one small step they also go into schools they educate you know kids about here you know here's some danger signs here's what you need to do if something bad's happening to you come talk to somebody then we have our children's division workers who go out and they actually investigate inside the house usually side by side with law enforcement and help make sure these kids have a safe environment. They work with the parents to work on safety plans, to work on, you know, work on getting these kids the help they need and getting the parents help they need. We have the prosecutors who make sure that if, if there are criminals that have done something to harm a child, they pay for it legally. And then we have law enforcement officials who are in the enforcement arm of that who would do the investigations. Every one of them is a piece in a puzzle that has to work together. We can't do that without each other. Every part of it's a cog in the machine that has to work together. This county is unbelievably lucky to have the professionals that we do. I've never, I've worked on both, I've worked in St. Louis and St. Charles County. I've never worked with a more professional group than I have here. And everyone here should be grateful for that. Thank you. Good morning. My name is Amy Robbins and I supervise our forensic services team at the Child Center, which is the local child advocacy center that serves the children in St. Charles County. We are happy to be here today in our Break the Silence t-shirts to support the over 400 children that we saw this year through our center for a forensic interview. These children come through our center for various reasons, whether it be a victim of sexual abuse, physical abuse, witnessing domestic violence, or even witnessing another crime including murder. Detective Rosner spoke of our amazing multidisciplinary team response that we have amongst our law enforcement who does everything that they can to make sure that children never stand alone in that courtroom. Our children's division who assures that all children in our community are safe and Tim Lomar's amazing special victims team who are not afraid to believe children and show this every day by taking cases to trial that most jurisdictions will not. Their reputation stands for itself by being almost 50% higher than the national average in their charging rate and still having a high conviction rate. I hope that as we stand here today, none of you are in need of the services of the Child Center. However, the truth is, is that one in four girls and one in six boys will fall victim of sexual abuse before the day they turn 18. When those children fall victim to a crime, the Child Center and the multidisciplinary team that stands here amongst us today will be there to help them put the pieces together to find their voice and also seek justice. There is no easier victim to work for than these innocent children. I often get asked what it is that I do for a job and I'm proud to give them an, an abbreviated response of, I interview kids who have been victims of crime for police, prosecutors, and child protective services. And quickly the conversation stops there. The conversation goes to a, oh my goodness, I don't know how you could do this work. And every day, always, our response always is, how could we not? 
it is the easiest job that we could ever do because our job is not the hard part. The hard part is when those children have to speak up and find their voice about the people who are supposed to love and support them and instead victimize them. We have had to see children who have been sexually abused at the hands of someone that they love, young children who are beat every day and doesn't know any different from life, or someone who has witnessed being murdered by a small child who should have never ever had to see that. Most people stop the conversation because it's not a topic that the general public wants to even acknowledge exists or occurs in our community. However, it does. And most people say, thank you for what you do. In order to stop abuse, we must first acknowledge it, that it occurs, and we must stop saying thank you for what we do. We need people to get involved, to speak up, to take action. This is our community, our children, and it is time that we all speak up and let our children know that we will not stand for abuse, not in our community, and not for our children. Thank you.